This video will show you how to use a Perkin Elmer Lambda 35, which is a UV visible spectrophotometer. Another spectroscopic technique that you will be using in this lab is UV visible spectroscopy. That is measuring the amount of visible and ultraviolet light that is absorbed by a solution of a sample. The UV spectrophotometers are here, they're called Perkin Elmer 30, Lambda 35s. We'll show you now how you go about using them. When you come to the machine, there will be a choice of different protocols to use. We have set these up so that we know the different ranges that it will be scanning. Again, because you're using a computer keyboard and a mouse, please take your gloves off at this point. I'm going to choose this one for this particular experiment and click on Start. And eventually it will prompt me to insert a blank. The sample compartment is over here. At the back we have got a reference solution in a cell. It's just water. Leave that untouched. You don't need to touch it at all. You will be using square cuvettes, square and cross section. Two sides of them are frosted and two sides are clear. Make sure that when you're handling them, you handle it by the frosted side. Now, the light path is from left to right across the sample compartment. So make sure that the light path is through the clear window, not through the frosted one. We will provide you with a cell clearly labeled blank with water in it and you will need this to scan. Place that in the front or the sample compartment. It has prompted me to insert my blank sample and I click OK. It will now scan the entire spectrum with something that is absorbing nothing and therefore recording what 100% uh, transmittance is like for this machine. It takes about 45 seconds. What we are, the moment we have a red light here that says stop, so I could click on that to stop collection. When it is finished, that will change to green and it'll beep at me and that is my signal to start. And here we are. It's waiting for me to insert a sample. Now I've got a clean sample and this is a solution that I wish to run a spectrum of. It needs to be about two thirds of the way up and open the sample compartment, remove the blank, put my sample in place, close the lid, try not to, to pour the blank all over the place, and click on OK. And that is now going to scan my entire sample. And indeed, you can watch the numbers over here of the wavelength changing as it scans. And Eventually, we'll start seeing a line appearing in the spectrum as we see it here. Starting to have visible absorbances. Now, 400 nanometers, just down to get to 350. And the light has turned green. We're now ready to uh, run another sample, but not before we print what we have here. The first thing we want to do, this line is not very big. And so I click on the auto scale vertical and I get a nice sample here. I want to find out what lambda max is. So I click on this one to get the cursor. It's a green vertical line and I move it until I think I found the center of the peak. And in view, label cursor. It has now told me that's at 427 nanometers. That's also right up here in the middle. So I can click on the numbers and bring them down into a clear portion of the spectrum so that they're visible. I also need to label this. So I click on ABC and label it with my aim and sample. And once that's OK, click OK. And again, move that so that it's out of the way into a clear portion. And once I'm ready, file, print. And that's all you have to do. 
The printer is over on the window wall. It's right next to the refractometers, and it'll come out fairly promptly. When I ran this sample before, this is what I got out. And you can see it's got a nice tall peak, and it's appropriately labeled. So don't forget to pick up your sample, but you have now finished here at the instrument. If all else fails, read the instructions. We do have on salmon pink paper here the instructions for what to do as you're running a UV visible spectrum. Once you have finished your turn, don't forget to take your sample out, leave the reference sample behind, leave the blank behind because the next person in line is going to be needing it. Take this back to your bench, wash it out, and leave it in your locker. Having seen this, you should now understand how to use a UV visible spectrophotometer.